Ho, 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 it's Friday, and we are going to talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. That's right, don't go anywhere. This may surprise you. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. What? What? We're, we're live? Cramp. Squeaky. Uh. Okay. It's Friday. I'm all excited. The week is at the end. And the weekend is in sight. And Christmas is a bit closer. Right? And that is super exciting. The gifts and presents are stacking up in my brain. I'm just so happy. And I never thought I would be reviewing a Marvel product for Christmas. <laughs> hey, like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description down below are some great things that we enjoy here. Nobody pays us, don't worry. But... We love them. And I'm just thinking off the top of my head, one of them may be coffee. Yeah, probably coffee. And we love it so much. So, feel free to check it out. You might find your next favorite thing right there too. So, here's the deal. A little backstory here. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. James Gunn. Did a great job with one and two, and I'm very much looking forward to the third one. And I'm glad that after the third one, he is done with Marvel. Um, we should have already had the third one, but with the shenanigans between Marvel and him, and the big to do between the two, and him getting fired and then rehired, and then this will be his last Marvel movie, the third one. When it comes out next year. Because he is now head of DC Cinematic Movies. So we may actually get some great DC movies for a change. And Marvel will continue to drown themselves. Anyway, neither here nor there. I just noticed the other day or was informed that James Gunn had released a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Now, first off, it's completely about Christmas. So this is actually the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. But, you know. So, I sat down with Nerdy Wife, and we watched it. And, lo and behold, it's not horrible. I'm surprised. The story, it's 42 minutes, here, let me, let me just show you. 2022, 41 minutes long, directed and written by James Gunn, Michael Rooker, Sean Gunn, you know, all the, all the people, all the peoples, Chris Pratt, love Chris Pratt, he's a great actor. And he does a great job as the main character of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Internet Movie Database. Why is his name not front and center? Oh, that's right. You guys hate him. Anywho. So, it's an honest, simple story. And it's so well done. Look, it's goofy. It's exactly what a holiday or Christmas special should be. It's subpar as far as... You know, it's not a grade A. It's kind of cheesy. The writing's a bit cheesy and a little on the nose. But the funniest thing is, is <laughs> Mantis and Drax want to get... <laughs> Hold on. Let me make sure I'm saying saying his name right. <laughs> Look, oh, Drax and Mantis want to get Peter Quill the perfect Christmas gift, so they go to Earth and kidnap Kevin Bacon. 
Yeah. Because Kevin Bacon's movie, Footloose, where his dancing saves an entire town, as they say in the movie here, uh, it's what helped Peter Quill do the dance-off that saved the universe in the Guardians movies. <laughs> it's so brilliant. I'm not a huge fan of Kevin Bacon, but this is fantastic. It's silly. It's goofy. It's it's all right. It's a Christmas special. If they had made this into a movie length, it would have been awful. But 41 minutes is the perfect amount of time for you to enjoy it. And it has some decent moments in it. It has some feelings. It kicks you in the feels in a couple of places. Is it perfect? Not at all. A Christmas special is not supposed to be. A Christmas special is supposed to be special. And this, my friends, is special. And well worth the watch, I'm going to say. Now, would I get a Disney Plus subscription to watch it? No. I hate Disney. Disney can kiss my Santa loving rear end. But, if you already have one, then you have no excuses, right? And I've got to say, once the third movie comes out, I'm done with Marvel. I've been done with Marvel for a while. But, I do so love Guardians of the Galaxy and what James Gunn has done with them and being and honoring the, the characters, knowing what they're actually about and the origins and everything about them and writing them correctly shows in every single one of them. I love the first one. I love the second one. Some people didn't like the second one. I don't care. I love them both and I expect to love the third one. Um, as long as James Gunn is allowed to do what he wants to do with it, it's going to be good. If Disney slash Marvel steps in and harasses him about it, it's going to be awful. Well, there you have it. Got off on a tangent. <laughs> this Friday review is done. It's in the can. And the weekend is within sight, everybody. I hope you've had a great week. And if you've seen the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious. I will say this. If I have any complaint at all, it's that Batista does an awful job as Drax in this. He's stupid. Like, stupider than usual. Like he, It's like he's just there for a paycheck. He, his character was awful in this. But it is what it is. Mantis did a great job. So there you have it. That, that that's it and and next week we're going to be talking about i guess uh let me think off the top of my head oh yeah christmas stuff <laughs> you guys have a great weekend for michael the microphone bob squeaky chair and this big fat christmas loving nerd we will see you on monday